This is a, a hurricane that's coming, but we don't know when it's coming. We don't know how strong it's going to be, how weak it's going to be. We don't know what that's going to look like come Thursday or Friday. Things are changing. You just don't know. So that's what some restaurant owners and supporters were feeling a year ago when the bars shut down and restaurants moved to to go only. A year later, most of the customers are back, but restaurants facing a new challenge. Many still cannot operate at full capacity because they're understaffed. When they get there, they get upset because you have to be put on a wait. There's sections that are closed. They see tables that are open. What they don't realize is that the restaurant's doing that intentionally most of the time because they don't have enough people. Well, the reasons for the staffing shortages vary. Some people say they're satisfied collecting unemployment benefits. Others are simply too afraid to go back to work. They worry about being in close contact with customers and colleagues who may not be wearing masks. Bottom line here, restaurant owners asking for your patience. New information tonight, President Biden has reached his goal of administering 100 million vaccines in less than 100 days in office. Today marks day 58 for him. The president and vice president marked the occasion by visiting the CDC in Atlanta, thanking workers and scientists for their efforts combating the coronavirus today. President Biden also said the nation may be able to double the number of vaccines in the next 40 days. By the numbers, our mass vax hubs have had a good week here in Southeast Texas, helping more of our neighbors get the shot of hope. Here's a map showing first doses, and I want to draw your attention. Beaumont alone, nearly 16,000 first doses administered. You can see Port Arthur closing in on 14,000. Even up here in Jasper, more than 10,000 doses given. All this adds up to 67,000 for our region. And you look over here. 3 million Texans now fully vaccinated. This is good stuff. So let's talk hospitalizations. We are ending the week up slightly in terms of patients. I pulled numbers for a week ago and today, and you can see the increase from 53 to 67. The ICU patient count pretty even at this point at 14. So we can see how this compares to our averages of 61 and 19. Regionally, this is something we must watch because the COVID patient counts are up this week. The regional hospitalization up above 15% right now, so that's technically above the state's benchmark.